full review of my new 2022 C8 Corvette Stingray from Ron Fellas. Amazing. Finally here. Let's go. Howdy folks, you on the Seagull and Speed 252 show. Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Seagull and Speed 252. And I want to thank each and every one of you. Yes, yes, each and every one of you for pushing that play button today. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please smash that thumbs up button right now. Also hit that subscribe button as well. Wherever it is on your screen, definitely hit that subscribe button. Become part of this awesome community. Definitely leave your comments down below. So right now, I'm at Run Fellas. I have no clue where the sun is right now, where the shade is on my face, off my face, any of that stuff. But right now I'm at Run Fellas. I really am enjoying this experience. Um, thank you for everyone that sponsored me to come out here. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, this is the car I've been driving since I've been here. So I want to give you guys a tour of my C8 Corvette Ron Fellas vehicle. Um, this is actually out here in Las Vegas. If you guys don't know, the experience is incredible. If you haven't did it before, you should do it. Um, it's a thousand bucks if you have bought a brand new Corvette. Now, when I bought a C7 Corvette, I also could have had that experience, but life got in the way. I couldn't afford it, so I wasn't able to come. But now I am here due to my sponsorships of people from the channel like Mr. Larry, Chevrolet, and etc. etc. And I'm really grateful for each and every one of you. And you guys are just, you know, Know, watching the channel leaving comments down below watching the ads you know buying merch all that stuff sponsored me to get here today so once again i'm so grateful for each and every one of you that's a part of this community who watches this video give yourself a thumbs up leave leave a comment down below so i'm really grateful for each and every one of you i want to give you a full review of what my ron fellows car look like um ca corvette because this is something different um i like like i said before i never experienced this before so i'm greatly Happy to be here today. I'm here with my friend Mike as well. Um, his this silver car behind me. And then you got the torch red right there. You got the white over there and the white right there. And you got the Elhart blue, silver, accelerate yellow. And it's pretty much just Ron Filler cars all lined up. You got the instructors. You got guys that are living, staying right here um, on the resort. We are actually staying at off the. Um, off the space just because of the fact that they're so booked up so we, they put us in another hotel which is not too far probably about five minutes down the street so it's okay no big deal we're still enjoying that experience so at the end of the day just being here being blessed to be here is a great feeling i'm super excited so i'm going to start off by letting you guys know once again this is a ron fellas performance driving school experience so as you can see right here this is ron fellas performance driving school spring mountain is on the side of each car as you can see right here is on the side of this car is on the side of that car is on the side of this car now each color car comes with its own unique so as you can see this one has a red with the black lettering performance uh, driving school same thing as the silver one right here but then this red one down here is probably we take a look it is black with white lettering and black letters as well um, pretty much, you, so you can see all the stickers on the cars. These are pretty much sponsors of Ron Fella Spring Mountain. So, as you can see, I got 24 right here on the windshield. Now, it stood out to me earlier that this is number 24 because this is Kobe Bryant's number. I did not like walk over to this car because I saw number 24. I didn't realize until later when I was driving it that this is Kobe Bryant's jersey number and also number eight. I'm a huge fan of Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace. Great basketball player, one of the greatest ever played the game. Then you got the Spring Mountain at the top as well. Then you got Chevrolet. Obviously, this is sponsored by Chevrolet because this is Chevrolet's product. Um, this is a coupe, not a convertible. They do have some convertibles here. Unfortunately, I don't think they have any of the drivers like me in the convertibles. They usually have most of the instructors in a convertible. This is a convertible, obviously. The Accelerate Yellow is a convertible. That's what I wanted at first, but it belongs to an instructor. So every car that's in the front are actually instructor cars because 
they take us on a track first we follow what they do and so forth and so forth so we get right here you guys may know this is obviously Zara this is a sticker that was created by Chevrolet this is what you know the coin in 2019 they gave me a coin um, they placed it inside my C7 Corvette when I went to the unveiling and it's a rare special coin I still have at home and I can show you guys what it look like um, somebody asked me if they wanted <laughs> if they could buy it at some point I don't know it's not up for sale at the moment but maybe at some point it is a special rare coin that you would never ever have a find again because it's really really rare so that's once again Zara sticker right there then you have the Michelin as well, which obviously the tires are Michelin as well. You guys know the standard Michelin uh, tires that come on the C8 Corvette. Then you got the Mobile One, the Bimbro, and the Mothers, which are also all sponsors of the Ron Fellas Driving School Program. You got the National Corvette Museum. As you guys know, I actually ended up picking up my C8 Corvette from the National Corvette Museum, which was really, really great experience. Um, you should totally do it. It's a thousand bucks. It'll be something great you're going to be a part of. As you can see, the Jake score right here. And then they also got the number right here. And the number is pretty much on all of the vehicles. Like, Mike's number 38, number 91. And then you got the 130 right here. Got a Chevrolet in the back. But what's interesting is that when you open up this driver door over here, you'll see that this car doesn't have a glove box. Now, this is what it looks like without a glove box. And they told us the reason why they took the glove box out because they want to put this inside of here so that way they can communicate with us when we're out there on the track but you can also see this is where the sd card goes right here as well and if you come to spring mountain they automatically give you a 32 gigabyte sd card so you don't have to worry about spending your money on that um i am in a rapid blue coupe i don't wrap the top off they don't allow you to have the top off actually but they do want you to have the windows up at all times when you're tracking this car on the track or whatever you're doing some of the, the, the instruction things that they're actually asking you to do which is pretty cool as well um obviously i have my mask right here because it's something you actually have to have but this is a pretty cool experience for sure this is most of the packages out here actually 3lt i got the carbon fiber right here in the middle hey, you got the of speed right there what's going on did you not hear what do you say there's no recording Oh, I didn't hear that part. <laughs> we about to get in the van. About to get in the van right here. Um, there's lots of subscribers out here as well, so it's been nice meeting those guys. And that's, I gotta get my gear out of here, but this is my review of my C8 Corvette that I actually didn't get a chance to finish. But this is a Z51 package as well. I wanna get my gear right here so I can go ahead and get in the car and ride out with these guys. I've got a Mac. So, yeah. Do I, do I bring my water bottle? Yeah, you can bring one. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty empty, but I guess I can bring it. Um, about to get in the van with the guys. You can see it's pretty beautiful out here, you guys. For sure. So, in here. Got some space for me back here. Oh. Oh. Man. So, where are we going? Are we going to do the figure eight right now? I'm assuming. Okay. All right. Should I, I guess I probably should not put my seatbelt on. We're not going that far, huh? Yeah. Oh, so I guess we should. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just, I was <laughs> just my helmet right here. Oh uh, yeah. Full throttle. Full throttle. I was just saying, you know, let's see what this van can do on the figure eight itself. But all oh, those C8s over there. Is that a Sebring orange or amplifier orange? What do you think? You think a Sebring? Huh. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Teddy, you're the expert. On colors? No, I'm not. That <laughs> it looked like it was Sebring. I I haven't seen an amplifier. There are out here. There are. Are there? What's okay. the cream sickle color one? Amplifier. Is that, okay. Amplifier. We have a few of those. That wasn't it though. Yeah, I didn't think so. I thought it was Sebring. I seen that new caffeine brown out here. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Who likes the caffeine it's brown? Cool. Depends on the light that it's in, right? Yeah, sure. It's not bad though. You a fan of the caffeine brown? Not really. Uh, what about you? Red mist. Red mist. All right. What about you, Mike? You already know. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus bronze was ten times better. Zeus bronze was ten times better than caffeine brown. That's for sure. Oh, this is all wet. So we have uh, four wet figure eights that will be running at the same time. Uh, the other school is using two of them. We are going to be utilizing the two that are closest to us here. So we have one right off to our right side here. And the center one here is the other one that we're going to be utilizing. Cool. So try to approach each of these corners kind of like what you're doing on the serpentine. Wide approach, patience in, and then try to hit the back side of the cone. It's going to help cater to the next corner ahead. So what you want to try to accomplish 
create straightaways. Give yourself a chance to get on the throttle, build up the speed. That'll help you balance the car in. Visual scan, cut into the apex. If you do the work leading into the corner, the reward is that the car's stable, so then you feel comfortable getting on the throttle and sliding it out. But a lot of drivers have the temptation of either turning in early or getting on the throttle early, and all they do is they just get understeer. So they'll almost do it properly. They'll be right before they get to the apex, and then they punch it, and then they just run wide and they just lose the front grip. So you don't want to try to add speed on the car, put speed on the car, excuse me, until you're ready to start straightening the wheel. So if you're really bound up in the middle of the corner, that is not the cue to try to break the rear end loose. Wait till you're ready to start unwinding, then you can get on it. Um, if you spin the car out, not a big deal. Myself and Teddy will be riding with you guys, so we will kind of tailor uh, tailor our instruction to what you need. Um, compared to some of the other exercises that we've done, this is gonna be more of a sort of loose curriculum, all right? So we work on what you need to work on. But one of the rules, you start getting so crazy you're out of shape, um, try not to cross the line from one exercise to the next. Be nice to the next guy. Um, so if you're running super wild, just get on the brakes, shut it down. Try not to hit the big orange cones, and of course, don't go off into the rocks, right? But otherwise, have some fun with it. Uh, you'll be in the car for like seven, eight minutes, um, which is more than enough time to get sick. So if you start feeling yourself getting nauseous, please cut it short. Um, I don't want to wear it, neither do you, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's no shame in cutting it short because after this, the last thing we're going to do today with you guys will be uh, take you on track for your demonstration laps on the regular track. Gotcha. Where but, you guys are driving? Where we are driving. Sweet. Gotcha. Yep. Quick question. And so, with my Z51 package, now... This is the Ron Fettel bottle they actually give you for the driving school. Um, once again, this is a full review of my C8 Corvette at Ron Fellas. Um, this is a bottle they give you actually for the car. They don't want you to put anything else in the car other than this. They give you this. They supply you this once you arrive. So you can keep some water in the car because they want you to feel, um, always stay hydrated. So obviously these are the standard wheels. This is the Z51 package because you can see it on the calibers right there. Um, once again, like I told you guys, they always order Z51 packages. So if, even if you bought like a Stingray, not Z51, they always will put you in a Z51 package because this is a driving school. They want you to get the full experience of what the car is. And so three things that they said that they must get in their CA Corvette. And they said, you know, some guys get upset that Ron Fellows get their CA Corvettes before everybody else does. But the guy made a good point earlier. He said they're not picky when they come down to getting their cars. Three things that they want with their cars is the PDR recorder so you can see your experience, record your experience, have a great time with your experience. They want the Z51 package so you can actually track your car, do all the things that's necessary to teach you how to be behind the wheel of this vehicle. And they also want magnetic racks so you can feel that when you're on the track, feel that suspension and see how much control this car has and how much control do you actually have when you're driving this vehicle. So those are the things that I want to talk about regarding my C8 Corvette full review of Ron Fellas. And it's pretty much, you know, they got the good piece like i mean they got carbon fiber the light appearance package um and so yeah they have a fully loaded c8 Corvette. they actually sell these at some point now i think the guy said they sell them with about six to eight thousand miles on it i don't know if you guys will be interested in purchasing any of these cars but they do go up for sale at some point uh for 105 thousand dollars i think they said so 105 thousand dollars six eight thousand miles on it complete w obviously but i just want to give you a full review of um these vehicles and don't get it wrong like these cars have always been tracked hard they've been put to the test but then you know if something's already been broken they fix everything on these cars themselves they got their own text to do the oil changes to do the maintenance and all that stuff so these cars are kept up pretty well so they're available at some point when they actually start selling these vehicles for sure so i want to give you guys